Oh, hello. And um, do I have any sound? I uh, need to turn it a little more up. There we go. Yes, I think we're good. Hello and welcome. We are on Canal Park, a custom one versus one map. So who do we got in the blue? It's Von Aston playing as the USF forces. And he's up against Inca Una playing as the Oberkommando Vest. He has already locked in Elite Armor Doctrine. Meanwhile, Von Aston, he is bringing along Rifle Company, Airborne and Mechanized Company. Anything that stands out in the bulletins? Well, buffs for the Rifleman and the grenades can be thrown further. Inca Una, on the other hand, he's buffing his Panzer IV a little bit. And... Let's see, Rifleman, Wolfgrenadier, yeah, increased accuracy, and the Wolfgrenadiers receive less suppression. <clears throat> so, Von Aston here just capping a little bit of standard points before connecting uh, his soon to be fuel. Just need his cutoff right here. It actually, it, that's very creative, you know, merging the um, monolith and the flagpole. <clears throat> Inkuna is just about to grab his point. Also going for the high fuel, well, high munition. <laughs> and now, let's see, we'll probably have our first engagement here. Yeah. Shots fired. Inka. Oh, just get in there and get the point. And all of he goes, not one to tank with, with them just yet. Nope, he wants more high resources. He could go in here. Oh, so close. He was almost around the side blocker, but eh. But now he's got some USF forces lurking about uh, back in his base. Huh. Well, he do have a strong present here in the middle. More help is coming out. There they are, the Volksgrenadiers. But these boys here, they'll probably have to go up there and help flush out these um, riflemen as they are in green cover. Oh, we got movement. Lots of movement, actually, on the, these guys here. They're looking to be uh, caught off when it comes to their retreat path. They're going to have to run right through these boys. Oh, wow. And rather early retreat there. But then again, he's... Four remaining models didn't have much health left. And Von Aston here. Is he actually going for the point? No, he decides it's not worth it and he tries to get out of there, but he's still being haunted by. Well, not haunted, but hunted. Haunting is what ghosts do. Woo, spooky, scary skeletons. Spot it. Little bit of hide and seek here. Nope, just turning around the corner. Ah, foiled again. <laughs> and there it is, the retreat. Well, he did lead uh, two of Inca Una's Volksgrenadier on a bit of a goose chase there. And while he was doing that, he is now prepping himself for gathering the fuel point here into his fold. However, 2-1 two -two scout car. Yeah, it is uh, heading down towards uh, these riflemen here. And it's will undoubtedly be there to harass the troops. Hmm. No snares just yet. I wonder if they are on their way. Yes, they are indeed on their way. And uh, yeah, Monastin can't really do anything about it yet, so he's just falling back. He could also get a bazooka onto his uh, lieutenant. That will help him a little bit versus... Um, the 2 to one but then again, he does give up some of that anti-infantry capabilities. He is... Res okay, I did see for a brief second that we had an um, M20 in the works, but it was quickly cancelled. Von Aston, he wants the steward, I assume. No! Well, maybe he still wants the steward, but he is going for a 50 cal. Okay. It's going to be very helpful against um, Inca Una's infantry and while the 50 cal do can deal damage to the 2 to 1, it's not like that the 2 to 1 is going to stay within the firing cone. Rifle grenade. Boom. Engine damage. 
but help is on the way and what why would Inkeuna go for a panzer strike is he predicting he probably predicted there would be a m20 i guess otherwise it's a pretty bad misclick <laughs> Anyway, Von Aston, yeah, just as he got enough fuel, he ordered his uh, steward to get on the field here. And uh, that's where we do see the Panzer Strike will have its uses. But will it be enough to actually hold off the steward? I still think... No, I don't think it anymore. I don't think he'll be going for a Raket and Warfare. Well, it depends on how well Van Aston he can uh, micro his steward. Mm, say if he somehow manages to get uh, the Panzer Shrek to uh, connect with the steward, then I suppose he will be able to hold his own against the steward until he gets something heavier out. Or Van Aston, you know, gets more light vehicles out and that's more of a justification for the the Rakett and Warfare, but then nonetheless, we are actually seeing a Rakett and Warfare. Should have stuck to my original prediction. <laughs> oh well. There it is. Do we have the Panzer Strike nearby? Where is it anyway? There it is. Just coming onto the battlefield. Well, not the battlefield, but into side here. A little bit of repairs being applied. There is, of course, also the Regal Mine, but that requires Veterancy 4 from the 221. And that's uh, still a long way to go. Though, if you do upgrade this one, you do lose the ability to lay down the Regal Mine, even if you earn Veterancy 4. False Grenadiers. No, I don't think they'll throw a grenade over there. Oh! Oh no, there's a 50 cal. Spot it, fire. Has to get around the side blocker, but ah, that's no use. And the 2 to 2, well, 2 to 1, won't enjoy any of those 50 cal shots. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. A little bit of flanking. 50 cal is repositioning. This could be a wipe here. He's. Wow. From five models to none in. Record time. Wow. Let him have it. Nope. Gonna run. Not gonna stick around to, to uh, suffer the same fate as the rifleman. Yeesh. Stuart. Oh, Stuart, where are you? Where were you when we needed you up here? Why? Why did you abandon us? Pants is wrecked. No munitions for it. So it's not snared. Wow. America pushing hard here looking to avenge its fallen brothers actually getting very close here to uh, the flag emplacement i'm surprised it haven't fired yet there we go fire no suppression however though we did lose a guy <laughs> lest we forget forget and we're <laughs> reversing of all things into action that's some agility required there. Running backwards. All right, good shot. That ought to put the, the steward on hold at least for a while. Then, uh, yeah, there were at least two smart guys in that rifleman section there. The other freeze, they were standing out in the open and like, oh, should we follow? <laughs> mm. This hurts me to see so low on health with those two squads well and now there is medics in the base and yeah Inkauna he is calling back his Volksgrenadiers to get that much needed healing at least one of the squads could take no maybe not I was thinking he was going to lay down a sandbag here but since they are just standing there, could use the time more productively. Heavy machine gun team ready. 
Heavy machine gun team. Can I read anything on this sign here? Uh, a bunch of numbers. D5, blah, blah, blah. 50 cal. Oh, it's gonna sit up. That's a mistake. Do I... Inguna not driving in closer to get more damage off. No, not going to risk it. And here comes the cavalry. We do see that Von Aston has unlocked the um, weapon racks, allowing him to get bars on his riflemen. By the looks of it, I can't really tell if it's a... Yeah, it's a double bar. Double bar, gang. Represent. HMG though. Oh yes, that's beautiful here. They won't be able to crawl out of that one. Neither will these unless... Okay, now we're getting a little bit of fire in on them. They are pinned. And Von Aston, he should just call in the retreat. I don't see any other troops coming in there to get the HMG off the field. That's the thing. If your opponent keeps firing... Well, not keep firing. If he keeps his men within the firing arc, it means that he's either not paying attention or he is preparing a flank. Or, well, actually, the flank should be coming in. Shouldn't, just shouldn't be preparing it. It should actually be doing it. Otherwise, his men in the firing arc will suffer heavily. Ooh, a little smoke. We do have it upgraded, and as we can see, it has lost its... Otherwise, given the ability at VEF4 to lay down the Regal Mine. I love uh, mines such as the Regal Mine and also the M20 Modified Mines, which uh, instantly immobilizes tanks. Such a powerful um, ability, which is occasionally used. At least the M20 Mine. I don't see Regal Mines being used by either... Okay, W, or even by the OS there. But then again, it may have something to do that you need. Well, in this case, bit 4. Or in the OS there's case, you need a commander and a regular half-track. Which uh, is very vulnerable to AT weapons. That's not to say that the uh, 223 is also vulnerable, but... Uh, in terms of timing and uh, all the things in the bigger picture, players do not tend to go for um, the half track. Even if it can destroy opponents with their um, its flame upgrade, but I don't know if you still have access to the Regal Mine if you put on the uh, double flame projectors. Nevertheless, it is a handy tool for uh, forward reinforcement and. I do believe it can also heal right now. Ah, enough blabbering. Von Aston loses his steward. Was it actually? Yeah, it was the uh, stone pioneers that took it down. Early Panzer's wreck did the work there. Or took at least credit for it. The Rick Edenwerfer was also having a play in that uh, part. Oh, needs to get closer so he can use his flamethrower. Ah, 50 cal should be able to get a good burst on. And I think uh, this bullet in here may just have prevented them from actually getting suppressed. Down south, things are going south. At least for Inkauna. Or rather, he's going home. Packing up. Got bars in his face here and that is quite uncomfortable up north however Inca Una is enjoying a victory here as he pushes von Aston and his 50 cal back off however we got a major on the field what about Inca Una has he checked up yeah he's got a Sverre Panzer headquarters down and indeed the paper has been signed yeah du bist authorized für Panzers and yes, my German is absolutely whatever your imagination makes it to be. 20 kills. Strong. That's more than uh, we can say about the uh, Volksgrenadiers. That's 10, that's 11. 
Well, it's equally. If we combine all the false and ideas together, they have killed about 20, and this has killed single handedly 21. Nice. Yeehaw, cowboy, earning its fourth residency, which, uh, yeah, it's, it's useless to the 2 2 3. <laughs> Sit, pick him up, sit him down, or in this case, just sit it down and pick it up. Hmm, not going for the cutoff point. But then again, he holds the fuel, so why should he? <laughs> is that a side blocker? Yes, it actually is a side blocker there, but he should hear the engine, and the lower bush here reveals the 2 2 3. Right turn, hot men, move out. We are up, supposed to uh, reinforce this sector up here as we're trying to retake it. We will be encountering Fox Grenadiers and Light Armor. Possibly even an anti tank gun. No grenades, however, and yeah, so far we haven't seen any benefit from a. That grenade bulletin would have been useful in this case here as they work kind of clumped up behind that green cover but i think von aston here he wants to save his um fuel 15 fuel for a um sherman which he is about to get that's like what half a minute and then he'll be able to get one out yeah nah roughly a minute anywho let's see he does have the fuel point now it's not connected but how is Inkuna's um, infantry present looking around this point here? Mm, rather good compared to one what Aston is fielding. So it's not like uh, it's going to be an easy pick for uh, Von Aston to getting that. Or so. Or not. He is definitely sending out a lot of troops here. And the Major snatching that point rather easily one squad is off the field there's the panther four and this dude up there the squad is just capturing the fuel sort of making uh, this cutoff point irrelevant womp 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 one just seem, cannot seem to catch a break and he needs a break look at this he is so much down on the vps and you know slam the brakes you're losing points they're going too fast in the wrong direction. Spot it. Still no grenades though. A good candidate here. He does have... Oh, he's going for the bigger Sherman. Right on. That's what he wants to do. Well, in that case, just gonna need a four more fuel. And then he's all set. Manpower department, however, he is looking very good. And I say that has something to do with the fact that he hasn't been investing into uh, anti-tank guns, whereas Inca Una, he has spent um, plus 500 manpower on his double raketen warfers. And if uh, Von Aston were to uh, buy two of them, then it would be 640 manpower that he would be down if he had, you know, two of them. Why is he not calling in... Um, is it 140? I thought it was 130. Oh, okay. He must just be hammering the button. Yep, as he was. Hammering that button, waiting for the Sherman. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Daddy needs that easy eight. Hey. Hey. We were using that. Well... Things are starting to slow down here for the 223 in terms of getting kills now that uh, it's becoming a little more dangerous to fare on the map. Wow, a third 50 cal. Uh, well, if he doesn't manage to. Uh, <laughs> okay, lots of infantry here. He should be able to snatch his 50 cal back. Oh, he really wants that dead. And with the engine damage here, here comes the lieutenant with the sprint ability. Panzer IV trying to come in to save the day. We got double bazookas on uh, the lieutenant, of all things. This is getting dangerous for the 223. 
Panzer 4 is harassing it, just bullying, pushing the lieutenant away, but Major Tom with a bazooka shot there didn't really do a whole awful lot, but enough to get some engine damage done there. Stern Pioneers looking to protect the Panzer 4. Though they are on the fire from a double bar and this Major, he manages to escape. After the recent patch, there's even more reason to keep your Major alive than before, as at Veteran C1, he gains plus 15 to sight. However, the Volksgrenadiers have caught an EC8 in their sight. Panzerfaust, oh, run away, not enough to do engine damage, needs to apply another one for that to kick in. HMG. No grenades on retreat path here, but then again, they are quite separated there, so a grenade wouldn't have been the squad wipe. Even the uh, Rakettenwerfer crew is joining in on the action here versus uh, the Rifleman. Down to two models, run. And here comes other Volks Grenadiers. Sherman here just needs a little bit of touch up. Uh, but before we do that, we do some civilian property damage, because why not? It is only affecting the Dutch. I believe uh, this map is set in Rotterdam, and if we look out there, there is a frigate, corvette, a ship, something. Don't know uh, the warship classes. I hear an engine. Still not fixed, but uh, minor damage should be fine. Just gonna burn these boys, and there we go. They are turn tail heading back. Where is uh, where's Inkauna? Well, the Panzer Four is now just rolling into action, but this looks like to be an encore of the last time. Except the lieutenant isn't here this time around. But then again, we got a substitute, the Sherman EC8, which should be more than enough to deal with the. Panzer IV, Model J. As to the question where Inca Una is, well, it appears that most of his forces are down south. Rakettenwerf is included. Oh, I just saw that the uh, minimap icon for the tank here just disappeared. Get in that! <gasps> oh! I don't know if what Inca Una was aiming at, if you were aiming at the tank or the repair crew. If you were really aiming at the repair crew, he got so unlucky there and Von Aston got lucky. That could have been dead free uh, crew members. Not enough to um, recruit it. So he had had to get the rifleman in there to recruit it and then <laughs> I'd say escape. <laughs> A little bit more damage being applied to the Sherman. However, Thing can be said for the Panzer IV. This is not the time to be uh, locked down, and it is indeed disengaged from the lockdown. Turning tail, heading back. Veteran C5 here. Receive lifts damage. Okay, so a little bit of buff there. Should it get caught out while in lockdown mode? And now the Panther is coming onto the field. And that, my friends, is going to handle the EC8. While the EC8 is sort of supposed to be an equal to the Panther, I haven't really seen it perform well versus anything heavier than the Panther IV. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. What a catch there from Von Aston. Three Volksgrenadier squads caught in one fire art there. That's beautiful. Getting worfer. Move out. Whoa, what's going on with the building? <laughs> so there he is. He's going for the Panzer Commander. So, in terms of damage versus infantry, it won't be doing that hot. But versus the other tanks, Sherman, EC8, yeah, it'll be doing nicely. Perhaps we're gonna get a demonstration of how nicely it's done. One more shot is all that's needed. Miss. Oh, come on, please. 
You even... No, okay. He... The panther is excused. He didn't have his panther commander. <laughs> but well done on the panther 4 there. Vehicles destroyed. Let me just check. Yeah. And the amount of damage it did to the EC8 there were... What? A single shot? Well, 50 cals may be good and all. Versus infantry. Can't really suppress uh, armor. That would just be silly. Oh, he's shifting his focus to the lieutenant. Not going for a wipe with the main cannon, apparently. But at least the HMGs were doing a thing. Oh, Bazooka on the flamethrower squad here. I think this is a dead P4. Da -da -da -da. Abandoned tank! Neil Sherman coming out. Sverre Panzer chipping in with a little bit of damage. Good flank here. Will we see a grenade? Yeah, it's just the incendiary grenade. As that's what he's got. Ooh, smoke by the. Yeah, I don't know by what. Was it really the major or lieutenant that threw that? I don't know. Oh, but we do have grenades. That's some good real estate there if one Aston could pick it up. <laughs> A little bit of crushing action there. Well, the main gun may not be good versus infantry, but it certainly um, can still crush this uh, heavy chassis here, or, well, still a medium tank according to the description, which I'm sitting behind. Yeah, medium. Where's the other uh, Sherman? My goldfish memory strikes again. It is, of course, there, lying dead. <laughs> oh boy. So he's got the new Sherman out. The one and only, and it is indeed heading into battle. Inguna managed to snatch his HMG back, but we do have another grenade here primed to go. And... Take down! Still, he cannot uh, recruit this without losing one of his squads. Oh, nice job, Rakit and Werfers. Didn't really do an awful lot versus um, the Sherman. Can we get a good shot in? Come on! Ah, they're relocating. Got a little bit scared of that 50 cal, understandably. And now, let's make a steal. I'd like a discount, please. Do you have a rebate coupon? Yes, I got it right here. It's called Five Finger Discount. Thank you. Oh, four machine guns. That's rough. <laughs> oh yes. Spotted one. Well, actually both of the machine guns spotted there. <laughs> and now to make matters worse, artillery fires being dropped down on them. Yeah, back to base, all three of you. Still, it looks like Von Aston may actually be starting to get a grip on this match here he may be down to 48 victory points and Inkauna still sitting pretty but now he's actually almost had a triple cap he got a double cap that's very nice and Inkauna dropping his points at a rather fast speed Raket Murphy is being dropped up here to deal with some very very light armor in terms of civilian cars oh another grenade and they are again clumped up should survive though wow i expected three of them to die but okay <laughs> meanwhile the panther commander he is um, surveying the situation and he can assess that there is indeed infantry around here which he can do a awful lot against i suppose he could an artillery which it gives access to that's not it. This one, coordinated barrage. But that's uh, quite the munition sink. 
Well, looks like in Kahuna he realizes he's up against a whole awful lot of uh, machine guns, so he is getting out a League Infantry support gun. What's going on down here? Right, that's quite the flank you're covering. It's not really much going on down here. Oh, a pipe. It's burst. It seems to be uh, the hottest trend among um, custom maps. You gotta have a burst pipe. Von Aston just needs a little more fuel and then he can call in another Sherman. And two Shermans versus the Panther. Yeah, should be decent. Well, 50 cal has relocated, but um, having trouble finding an ankle. <laughs> having trouble surviving. <laughs> I said being ha hunted by the 223 and, well, of course, the Volksgrenadier is there. Oh, that grenade! Oh, they're gonna die on retreat, aren't they? Double bars, smoke tried. <laughs> Just a second too late there. Just a second too late. <clears throat> ah. A for the attempt made. Sadly, it wasn't enough to save that squad. Well. Whew. He could uh, replace the squad that he lost with the Noble Soldaten if he can get the enough manpower to do, you know, bunched up. But then again, versus four machine guns, he's probably better off with going for a more mechanized approach. Let it either be Panzer Fours, Panthers, or heck, even a Stukasche Fusch would be uh, beneficial. Once he, of course, gets another tank out, because I don't... I'm not really that secure about the Panther. And, of course, the double Raketenwerfers here being capable of protecting uh, the walking Stuka. Oh yeah. White Phosphorus round. Oof. That's nasty. The League will be able to do a little bit of harassment, but... Not an awful lot against the uh, four of them. I mean, it has to turbo reload. Yeah, 18 more seconds before it can do another barrage. Not really what Enkauna he needs. And with his fuel income, yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, that's, that's so nasty. He... Well, he does have enough fuel for these smaller ones here, even a Stukasche Fusch, so maybe he could attempt to go for the Stukasche Fusch, bomb those HMGs back, all the way back, maybe even get a D-Crew. Hmm, Von Aston. Yeah, he doesn't have any munish because I was about to suggest that he should uh, take this time to get a few mines down down here where he has a rifleman squad just looking pretty but i suppose he's also busy um you know microing his forces up here oh lots of infantry we still got a squad up here the incendiary grenade exchange of grenades Ooh, lots of health damage back to base we are seeing the panther going in here versus double shermans Heat rounds activated. That's extra damage. Raketen Whiffer is also chipping in with a little bit of damage here. Are they following suit? No, they are not. And the Panther also disengages. Time to go. What is that we are seeing here? A coordinated barrage? Yeah, well, kind of missed. Meanwhile, I can hear Von Aston. He is repairing his ZZ8s. One of them is in bad shape. And oh, it's going in deep here. First shot misses. And the one he encounters is, of course, the most with the most health. Uh, Panzer Shrek here. Adding a little bit of damage. But oh, we got a retreat going on. Decrewed. Other Rakeen Werfer is trying. To escape. 
Rip, Sherman, down, out for the count there. The Panther did take it down, but in the process, he did lose one Raquel were from maybe lose another yeah he lost another HMG there making it five machine guns that Inca Una's up against <laughs> and and all what he's got is his best counter is is a league a vet zero league it can't do it Well, we are getting a new Panzer IV out. <laughs> and Inca Una is starting to hurt so badly in the VPs department. He is approaching 100 VPs at an alarming rate. And Von Aston still sitting just below 50 points. Panzer Fear has to be the hero of the Reich. Mechanics are doing their thing, repairing the uh, 2 to 3. Sadly, you cannot order them to repair the Panther because that's uh, the one with the highest priority, I'd say. But it's not really happening, is it? Repairs be damned. We got a war to win. And Kahuna continues to push out here. We got a one Rakit and for coming out. The 2-2-3. Two, two, out of control. Shots hit. The armor is pushing through. There's the Raquette and Werfer that Von Aston stole. Oh, good night, sweet prince. You were supposed to be the hero, but you went to zero rather than hero town. One Raquette and Werfer is also chipping in there. We got the trick. Takes down one of the Shermans. Can he get another one? Still has heat rounds for... That's it. It's down. All armor is lost for Von Aston, but only 50 points remains and there are still this many machine guns on the field. Uh, well, that one is at least getting off the field. That's down to four, but the amount of infantry that that's on the field at the moment for Inca Una is zero. All his infantry is in the base, currently scrambling to get out on the map, but now calling in a fresh unit, but even if they mix it up there, look. Uh, there's one fifth, well, one machine gun going up north. The middle also being guarded. This one, well, yeah, there's machine guns everywhere. I think this is over. White phosphorus shells being called into the base here. 14 points. Those machine guns hurt. Inca Una much and um, some of those machine guns were his own that he lost to Von Aston's Von Aston's grenades took down Inca Una's machine gun which allowed in turn Von Aston to get even more machine guns ay 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 well that's it for this time folks like and subscribe if you want more. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Adios.